This video is part of our free course on how to create an e-commerce platform like Shopify, using WordPress, WP Ultimo, WP Frontend Admin, and WooCommerce. You'll learn how to build a fully functional platform, where your users will purchase membership plans, to create and manage online stores easily. To manage their stores, your users won't have to use the normal WordPress dashboard, but will use a custom front-end dashboard for the entire network. They will view sales reports. Create and manage products. View and manage orders. View and manage customers. Set up payment gateways and taxes. Change their membership plans. Select custom domains for their sites. And everything related to their online store. The best part is that you don't need any programming knowledge. We'll guide you step by step to build your own e-commerce platform and start making money online. You can sign up to this free course by following the link in the description of this video. In this lesson, we will explain some global settings that you need to apply to your WordPress multi-site network. These settings will allow your platform users to manage their online stores from a global dashboard that is completely different from the WP Admin dashboard. To build this e-commerce platform, we will need at least three sites. The first site is the network's main site. It will be useful to sell our membership plans, show our platform's features, add pricing pages, blog posts, etc. The second site is the front-end dashboard site. We'll create a site that will be used as the global dashboard for the entire network and add all the front-end dashboard pages to it. The third site is a site template that we will show you how to create in future lessons of this course. This site template can be cloned to every site added to your network. It's great because you can offer several templates, so users won't have to design their stores from scratch. For now, we will start by creating the site for the front-end dashboard. On your network admin dashboard, go to WP Ultimo and then to Sites. We will add a new site. We'll call this site Dashboard. We'll use the Dashboard subdomain for this site. And it has to be a regular site. Now that we've added our front-end dashboard site, we need to set up some general settings for the WP front-end admin plugin. Let's open the general settings. Now let's enable the multi-site features here. We'll disable the WP admin notices when viewing WP admin content on the front-end. Here we need to select the site we have just created as the front-end dashboard site. Finally, let's save the changes. Now let's move to the appearance settings. We'll hide the admin bar on the front end. Here we can select the animation style. If you prefer, you can paste a URL here to use a GIF as the animation style. Here we can select the animation color. We'll select the clean admin look color so that our WP admin pages look cleaner on the front end. We can also select a hover color for the WP admin links and buttons when we view them on the front end. Finally, let's save the changes. In the next lesson, we'll set up the front end dashboard design.